y'all welcome back to my channel moss crossings i'm moss and today we are crossing i don't know why that's the tagline i've decided to start using i'm i'm not gonna say that again <laughs> um yeah today's just gonna be another casual let's play video it's actually the fishing tourney on my island today today is january 8th and I'm going to be doing that and also just dailies and whatever else and uh, probably a little bit of decorating too just some small empty spaces that i've neglected so that's what's going on today let's get started all right i think first i'm just gonna do my regular dailies i'm gonna harvest my crops which i forgot to water unfortunately oh let me go ahead and show you this i did some waterscaping off camera after i finished my most recent speed build um i haven't decorated all of this yet but this is what this is looking like right now let me um let me pull up my map real quick yeah that's what this is looking like right now the fishing tourney and the bug off are always so fun because it's like the only time when all of your villagers are outside at once and i think it's cute i, I like their little hats yeah i wanted to um i forgot to address this in my speed build but i wanted to mention i know that i said i was gonna not time travel for a while and i like am sticking to that but the thing with uh speed builds is that i obviously like plant a bunch of flowers and shrubs and stuff and if i want to show what the the final product of the build looks like at the end then i do need to travel forward a few days so that everything will be fully grown so i do need to use time traveling um i don't need to but it, it just helps me get videos out more quickly if i just travel forward a few days when I finish a build and then just go right back and set the time to the time it actually is again. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing going forward is just just generally keeping my switch clock accurate to the real time and date. But just um, when I finish a speed build, I'm probably going to be traveling forward a few days and then just setting it back after I film the footage that I need. Yeah, all my crops are kind of sad today because I... Like I said, I just completely forgot to water them. I also dumped a bunch of stuff over here while I was building yesterday. I will harvest these apples as well and those peaches to supplement my poor harvest. I'm not going to bother cooking stuff. I'm just going to sell everything right away. I also still need to dig up my fossils and hit my rocks uh, before we start fishing. I'm glad that the fishing tourney is happening because I feel like I've really neglected fishing since starting this island. It's not my favorite activity, but I do want to fill my museum up and I feel like I always enjoy the fishing tourney, even if I don't fish regularly otherwise. Oh, there's a dolly here today. Could always use more of those. It's part of my theme on this island. And I definitely want this light fixture. Ooh, okay, maybe not. Um, maybe later. Okay, that's not bad. I don't think I really want the chandelier for 33,000 bells. I think I'm fine. Alright. Um, by the way, I pretty much flattened this whole... Not quite flattened, but I removed most of the items from this whole area that you might have seen in my last Let's Play. Just because, like I said, like I said then, I just didn't really like this area and I wanted to do something different with it anyway. I left a couple little parts that I kind of like um, that I might want to, I, I might want to just continue with this sort of theme. So we'll see what happens with that in the future. I'm not thinking about it right now. Okay. It's time for rocks and fossils. Uh, well, that's a gyroid. The winter weeds have really grown on me for some reason. I think that they're cute. Oh god. It's, uh, it's Weed City up here. I'll deal with that later. You know, something else that I've been consistently neglecting is diving. I've been, like, not really doing that at all. I'm doing the fishing tourney today, so maybe I'll do some diving in the next Let's Play. Check out the clouds right now. There's a, there's a term for that in meteorology. It's called a mackerel sky. Fun fact. I took one meteorology class in college. <laughs> oh, should I make a snowman? That's another thing that I keep not doing. What do I even do in this game? <laughs> Oh god, oh the weeds, it's killing me, oh no. Okay, let's make a snowman. Oh, I don't know about this, I don't know about this. Yes, nice. Alright, cool, thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, money rock. Here's something I always do. I always um, make sure to save the biggest bell bag for last. I don't necessarily pick them up exactly in order, but I feel like I just need to pick up the 8,000 bag last. <laughs> Let me know if you do that too. Wow, so many gyroids today. All right, I think we've got all the fossils. So let's mosey on over to the museum. And I am going to stop by the roost. And this time I'm not going to go to Starbucks in real life just because the roost made me want coffee. <laughs> hey, besties. Wow. Good luck, guys. Oh, nice. One new fossil. And Kylo Torso. Oh, heck yeah. Yes, please, Blathers. I always want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? This man just loves dinosaurs. Relatable. I'm going to go check out the fossil exhibit real quick just to see how close we are to finishing this. Because I, like I feel like I'm pretty close. All right, there's a couple things missing here. I still haven't gotten over how gorgeous the design of this whole museum is. It feels like it was designed by like actual museum designers and it was just like literally do whatever you want. There's no limitations because it's like virtual and they just went hog wild with it. All right, I need an iguanodon torso. This is always just so cool. Dinosaurs were the coolest thing ever actually. When I was a kid, I was so, so obsessed with dinosaurs. When I was very young, I realized that dinosaurs and space were the coolest things in the world. And I was right. And I, I have not changed my mind about that. Right, I need the, what is this? Megaloceros. I need its other half. I guess the right half. This thing is cool. I love anything with just like unfathomably huge antlers, like a some kind of old god. <laughs> I'm going to check out the art wing as well to see how that's coming along. Wow. Just no statues. <laughs> Just no statues here. Okay, we've got Mona Lisa, this ferret lady. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. This was the most recent thing I donated. Wow, really, really sparse. Really sparse in here. Yeah, that's kind of bleak. I've never finished the art wing in any island I've had. Even the one that I've had since the game came out, I, ha I still haven't finished the art wing. Brewster time, baby. Hey, bestie. Yes, please. Um, no, I don't. Sorry. I wish that you could politely turn down the pigeon milk. <laughs> I wish you could be like, oh, no, thanks. Instead of like saying you, he made this milk just for you. And you're like, you. So you, you might have looked this up by now just out of morbid curiosity, but pigeons do actually produce milk. They produce it in some, it's like a special gland in their crop that produces milk that they give their offspring. So if you didn't know that, you do now. Nature is beautiful. All right, I do believe it's fishing time. Let me go sell all this stuff first and plant this money tree. Bloop. Okay. Okay, let's go talk to my boy CJ, the boy of all time. Slick fish swag. I just love him. I don't get why people don't like him. All right, let's go. Hello? Fish, please? Oh God, this is gonna be hard. I normally turn the sound up. I like close my eyes and listen for it. But I, I can't really do that while I'm recording. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Watch me be so bad at this when I can't um, listen for it. Oh, God. Ugh. Gonna try not to curse in this video. Hello, fishy. There we go. Well, hello, Mr. Dab. I'm gonna catch Cap'n. Oh, hello. No time to look at that now. Where are all the freaking fish in this ocean? Oh, hello, tiny. All right, let's go to the river. <laughs> the two of them have been trying to catch the same fish for like an hour. All right, blue gill. I'm not sure how many rounds of this I'm going to do. It's not the most interesting thing to watch. Big guy. Oh, the clock's running down. I don't think we can catch anymore. Oh, I've ruined my streak. There's that, um, there's that Nook Miles reward thing that rewards you for having a, a streak of not letting fish get away. And I've, I've ruined mine now. I think I was over 50 before I started this. Oh, well. <laughs> I love that little animation that he does. All right, I'm going to see if I caught anything that I don't have in the museum yet. And it looks like I did. Oh, really? 
The bluegill and the sea butterfly. I need to donate. I'm gonna sell the rest of them. Okay, let's go. I feel like recently I've um, started to feel more excited about playing this game, which is really nice. Like, I feel like I'm feeling a bit of that um, nostalgic sort of excitement about playing Animal Crossing and making videos and stuff. I really want to get back into watching more Animal Crossing YouTube, like uh, all of my, my fellow ACNH creators. I feel like I haven't caught up on a lot of people's videos in a long time. But it's because, like, all I want to watch on YouTube right now is, like, excessively long deep dives into TV shows. <laughs> that's, like, all I'm interested in right now. I feel like that's, like, the moment that YouTube is having right now. And for some reason, that's what, like, everybody wants to watch right now, myself included. It's a strange phenomenon. I remember back when I first got really into watching YouTube, it was, like, unusual for a video to be more than, like, five minutes long, which is so strange to think about now. I feel like I seek out videos that are really long because I like to just, like, put a video on and be able to listen to it for a while while I do other stuff. Oh, this is difficult. Yeah, I feel like the video essay is really in style right now, and I am really enjoying that. Oh, no! <laughs> farewell. All right, we got five again. I think that's the same that I got last time. I feel like I used to do this and catch like 12 fish. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I didn't get anything new for the museum this time. All right, I think this might be my last round because I'm a little bit bored with this whole thing. I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for the feedback on my last Let's Play video where I was talking about the slightly different direction that I want to take this channel in. I got a lot of just well thought out comments and very kind responses and stuff. So I really, really appreciate that and just wanted to uh, let y'all know, like, thank you. But also I would really appreciate y'all's thoughts on um, like other things that you want me to talk about uh, in my videos that are maybe not directly related to Animal Crossing or whatever or if you want to do more Q&As or whatever. Like, I feel like I just need more stuff to talk about while I do these casual Let's Play videos that I'm going to be doing now. Like, I don't so much want to talk about, like, my life because I'm, like, a really private person, as I've mentioned before. But, like, I would definitely enjoy talking about more different topics and stuff and whatever y'all are interested in. Just let me know in the comments, like, anything that you think would be cool for me to talk about in videos. I feel like I'm getting better at uh, doing this without the sound on. Alright, can I catch one more in 10 seconds? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's, uh, got so much dialogue. Alright, CJ, I want my swag. I wish it wasn't like this, like I wish that you had points and you could select from a menu of things that are worth different amounts of points. Like how I feel like stuff like this normally works. I would like to, to have some choice over my swag. Okay, I'm done with that. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I need to go donate these fish to the museum and then I'm gonna do just a smidge of decorating. Alright, good times. Okay, what I'm gonna be decorating is gonna be... This little island here I want to do something with. I can just do that now. I've got some flowers and weeds and custom codes, obviously. I'm going to end up replacing these winter designs with spring designs um, fairly soon. I'm thinking that I will move my island forward into spring sometime in like late February, I want to say. This, like, whole no time traveling thing uh, is going to be kind of a temporary situation, I think, just for the next uh, month or so to help me slow down. Oh my god, Stitches! He's so cute! He's just so cute and perfect, and I love him. Oh my god, what an absolute cutie. Hi, Stitchy! Oh, I love him. I'm also going to be decorating this sort of area right here a little bit. And this is Stitch's house right here. Oh. I need to definitely do some work on this neighborhood. I'm not really happy with what it looks like right now. I put a bunch of uh, more items around, but I'm just, it feels so sloppy to me right now. And I want to make use of the second tier of cliffs also that I put up there. And just make it look a little bit more organized and like coherent. I don't know. Well, I was saying something. I was saying something earlier and I don't remember. Oh, the thing about time traveling, yeah. My whole, like, slowing down, no time traveling thing. 
um, it's I just sort of want to like reboot <laughs> myself <laughs> and the way that I play this game if that makes any sense I feel like just having like a month or so where I'm just playing the game slowly and casually and making a lot of let's plays is going to be helpful in sort of resetting my relationship with this game and my content and everything but I am definitely going to time travel forward at some point into spring and start really decorating for spring and really making like a hashtag spring core island because I just can't stop thinking about that right now what am I looking for let's get some of these and some of these and some of these let's get some chairs maybe the campsite should go up there I don't know let's get some of these let's grab a barrel I could always use a barrel and a bike and a teddy bear and a mush log yeah that seems good see if I have any more flowers in here oh definitely my favorite flowers in this game are mums specifically the white and yellow mums I've never like been someone who spent a lot of time breeding hybrid flowers I'm not patient <laughs> enough for that but I really want I really want some green mums for my spring decorating oh I don't have any shrubs that's okay I'm doing the same thing that I did on Solaris where I only, I'm like only using white, yellow, red, and orange flowers. Those are just the colors I feel like I gravitate towards more, but I feel like they don't necessarily work with <laughs> the winter vibe on my island right now. That's okay though. Oh, our hard work paid off. Oh. Yay! Oh, here's a really cool custom code that I downloaded recently that I think I'm going to use here just for fun because I like it. Now what should go here? Yeah, this is, this is something. What am I doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, wait. Um, yeah. I kind of have to speed this up because my girlfriend is coming home soon and she's going to be playing D&D &D when she gets home and thus um, using the computer. So I've got to I've got to do a little bit of speed decorating right now. But yeah, seriously, I'm really really excited for spring. I'm really excited for spring decorating. And I always feel like the hype about a certain sort of seasonal decorating style in Animal Crossing really peaks like before the season really starts because everybody is like so tired of whatever season it is and like we all just like want the next season to happen or at least that's how I feel with like fall and spring is like oh, I'm so tired of summer I'm so tired of it being hot all the time I just get really really into the fall spirit I guess and then in winter I just get so tired of being cold and I'm so tired of it being winter and I just uh I just want to consume all of the all of the spring aesthetic stuff <laughs> it's just how it works I'm having fun actually decorating for winter right now though I haven't ever really done that before like specifically decorated um and gotten custom codes and everything for winter how do I keep forgetting what order these go down in <laughs> I guess this area is going to be sort of a little mini like neighborhood park kind of thing. So maybe I should get like a jungle gym or something to put here. I really wish that there was a swing set item that wasn't just like the wooden like swinging bench thing. Like an actual swing set. Maybe there should be like an actual little garden here. Ooh, maybe a fountain would be good. Except there's already a fountain like right over here. Maybe a shell fountain or something, like a smaller thing. But I don't have that right now, so maybe some other time. Gonna have to work around stitches. <laughs> That's okay. He can be anywhere that he wants at any time. I will never get mad at him. I think this path is so, so cute. I love the little snowflakes on the edges. Oh, I want some fencing here, actually. I didn't realize until earlier today that um, these two designs that I downloaded are the same. And I just downloaded two of them for some reason, so... I definitely still have a few spots open. I'm replacing this whole brick path thing, but I still have um, a few of those left that I can replace. And I think there's just other stuff that I'm not really going to use. Oh, why is my voice cracking? I'm going to have to do something special around Stitches' house, I think. I might move it back a little so I have more space or something like that. Let's put a mush lamp somewhere. 
I've been really into this like classic mushroom customization of these things. It really fits the, the whimsical vibe that I'm going for. All right, let's do one more. Let's go with an orange one. I feel like the, these colors just don't really fit the vibe. I'm not sure. I'm sure I will replace a lot of these flowers at some point with different colors, but this is okay for now. I feel like this already goes a little bit with Stitches's kind of aesthetic. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm into that. Ranch cupboard should go somewhere around here, I feel like. I just really love this item, and I feel like it goes really well with this whole vibe that I've been really into lately. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a mama bear here. And then I'm going to be done because I've got to go. <laughs> Hopefully there's room here with stitches just he's just not gonna he's just not gonna move. He has parked himself here. Actually I might want a tree over here. I didn't I forgot about trees. <laughs> I'm so tired of all my orange trees. I just want to get rid of all of them. Let's make sure this one's a hardwood. Yeah, alright. Oh nice. I like this. Yeah, this is cute. I'm enjoying this. All right, that's where I'm going to leave this off for today. I'm definitely going to work a little bit more on this area as we go forward. <laughs> but that's all for today. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Stitches thanks you too. I'll see you again soon with a villager hunt and more Let's Plays. So I hope that you all have a great day. Tune in next time. Bye-bye!